So here is how you make old looking sheet music. First, you need some regular white papered, just regular sheet music. You can print it off yourself. You need some form of tray. You're going to need newspapers. And this is what the outcome is going to look like. I don't know if the camera can really pick this up really good. But these are some previous sheet music that I have done past. I'm really pleased with it. So let's get started to the steps you need to take. So you're going to need to boil some water some way or some form. In this part I have a actual kettle because my husband drinks tea all the time. And that brings me to our next point which is how are we going to be dyeing the paper brown? And Here's our answer. I have tea packets. I have a whole thing of tea that I got my husband for Christmas and he doesn't like them so I'm gonna be pretty much infusing tea in the boiling water and then that'll get us to our next step. So I'm gonna be using a measuring cup to put the tea in. You can use whatever you want. I just choose this because I can pour it out of the spout. <clears throat> so our water is done boiling. And I don't drink tea or anything, so I just drop it in. <laughs> I don't even have an infuser, I just put it in there. As long as it turns the water brown, that is okay. The first time I tried this, I actually took the, <laughs> this is embarrassing, I, I opened up the packets and put them in there, put all the uh, tea leaves and stuff, and it was a mess. So don't do that. <laughs> so I just get a straw and poke around at it to get it to come out of the bag and we're gonna want a lot of tea to come out we need the water to be brown The longer you let this set, the more brown the water is going to get. And it smells really good. It's Earl Grey, by the way. In case you're wondering, my paper is going to smell like Earl Grey tea. Okay. Now since it's infused and we have a brown color, we're going to move on to our next step. And the next step involves the tray. So we're going to get our pitcher of water with tea infuses in it. And we're going to pour some of this out. Then we want to submerge the paper into the tea. really hot. Usually flip it over so you can see. And I've seen people who like do little tears and stuff. I did that on a paper and I think it looked really good. Take that whole end off. So now we're gonna add the rest of the water in there on top of the note, on top of the sheet music. And with that, we are gonna leave it sitting here for 30 minutes or more, however long it takes me to remember that I have this over here. And in one instance, I left it for a day. And I, I actually really liked the day long one. This is the one that I kept for a day. You can, I don't, well, it sort of blends in. Um, 
don't know. It just looks pretty cool. That's the one I left for a day. So we'll come back to it once it looks good enough. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes and we're gonna take the sheet music out and see how it looks. I ripped it. And it looks pretty good to me. And now we pretty much leave it until it dries. And then once it dries, it should look like the examples I showed you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in making old sheet music, here was the how-to.